Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we will be talking about Rasmussen Reports. We have breaking news about Rasmussen Reports. They have officially been kicked off of the 538 uh, polling uh, averages um, after some very interesting developments about their organization. Now we always knew Rasmussen was conservative aligned, right? Really aligned with Republican leaning organizations and groups so of course i you know a lot of people never trusted their accuracy however they were always included in these averages of polls for whatever reason 538 did include you know they include um partisan sponsored polls which of course includes rasmussen reports that's one of them so you know when you have polls like that that are obviously favoring trump um it is really going to skew the average and you know make it look better for donald trump so what is the news about Rasmussen? Well, I'll just read this tweet here from Ford News. Rasmussen reports polling has been removed from the 538 uh, national polling averages after leaked emails show that they shared polling data with Trump advisors before their release. 538 also asked Rasmussen reports about methodology and how they conduct the polling after leaked emails also showed Trump advisors could be violating election laws by paying for favorable polling. Rasmussen reports for years has been associated with far-right conservative favorable outcomes. In 2024, these allegations took to new levels. Many pollsters are calling these allegations very serious and undermines Rasmussen reports' credibility. That last part, that is the least um, that, that you could say about this. I mean, you know, they're kicked off of 538. Now, when you look at all the latest polls, they removed all of them. Even the old ones, you can't find anymore. They took them all off so basically um what this leak what these leaked email says or these leaked emails um is that as you as i read the uh, rasmussen sent the polling data to the trump campaign to confirm that they should release it um before they actually did you know in order to make it look more favorable i'm sure there were numerous polls that didn't look good for trump that they then uh struck down that the trump campaign said you, you can't publish these um, they look too good for Harris. It doesn't make us look good. Um, and, you know, they struck those down. They didn't publish them. I'm sure there were quite a few of those types of polls that they conducted. And the sad thing is, you know, Rasmussen is actually a um, pollster that, that, you know, buys conservative channels. For example, this one, um, you know, among other organizations and news channels and, and YouTube channels and all that, um, they have really clung on to saying that Rasmussen is a um, is the a is the most accurate pollster just because they were they were um closer than most in 2020 of course because whatever all the polls were favoring Biden but they you know didn't um they favored Trump so they were still off by quite a lot but less than the polls that said that Biden would win but by a lot but they still got at least those other pollsters got it right Rasmussen actually got it wrong so when you look at some of these other pollsters, I mean, they make, or these other uh, channels, they make videos about how, what, look, accurate poll. That's the Rasmussen logo, by the way. It's about a Rasmussen poll. Uh, the, they did a video after this um, where they had the guy from Rasmussen. Rasmussen reports, shocking polls, stupid. Um, but, I mean, some of these channels, look, this video has 180,000 views. Rasmussen reports right there, accurate poll, they call it. No, it's not, and it's clear that they are a total fraud. Um, they were literally in collusion with the Trump campaign, which is, you know, um, violating campaign laws. So, you know, it's just sad. Um, the, these frauds of channels, obviously, um, you know, saying, of course, Rasmussen, the most accurate pollster. Well, they're in shambles now because they are now discluded from the 538 average and they have been proven to illegally um, do these polls. They're directly violating campaign laws. So, yeah, so we don't have to worry about Rasmussen anymore. Um, but, I mean, just look, I mean, they were total outliers this time. They said Virginia would be within three points. That poll wasn't um, from too long ago. Uh, Minnesota would go to Harris by three. Okay, Biden won it by seven. Tim Walls is on the ticket. She'll win it by like 10. New Mexico, they said Harris would win by six. That was not too bad. Still pretty bad. Um, They said Klobuchar would win by 11. She's winning probably by like 23 points right now. Um, They said Biden's uh, approval rating is negative 10. He's getting quite a few positive, net positive favorability ratings. 
so whatever. I mean, you know, we always, people like um, us always knew that Rasmussen uh, was awful and sucked as a pollster. But, you know, you've got channels like this that prop uh, Rasmussen up so much. But now you've got these poor people um, thinking that Rasmussen is the best pollster um, and that they're the most accurate when they were literally in collusion with the Trump campaign. So thank you all for watching this video, and I'll see you all later.